What's up, Internet? Conan Bell here, and welcome to Let's Get Plushy. I love plush toys. I love them a lot. If I was made of money, I'd have a lot more than even this. And in fact, I do have more than even this. But as you can tell, the majority of my plush toys have been Pokemon themed, but that's far from the only thing I've got. There's Disney, Dragon Quest, Mario, Yokai Watch, and of course, Sonic the Hedgehog. And what better way to celebrate my first foray into Video Toyland than to examine the pros and cons, the good and the bad, of the 20th Anniversary Pikachu plush toy by Tommy, celebrating 20 years of Pokémon. Yes, I know I'm late to this particular party, but it's my show and I'll do what I want. Da 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 This Pikachu plush toy features some interesting posing at the ears, a right jolly expression, and a raised right paw that's just begging for a high five. But its most notable feature is that amazing glossy sheen to its fur. All in all, of course, this figure resembles very strongly the Pokémon it's trying to emulate, Pikachu, Pokémon number 25, and the mascot of the entire franchise. Standing at a respectable 7 inches tall, this figure plays nicely with many other Pokémon figures of the same type. He happens to sit perfectly upright with no outside help, but... it doesn't take very much to knock him over. This right here would be the figure's best angle. You have a nice look at its lightning bolt tail, its raised and lowered ear, a great glimpse at the full shape of its red cheek and very expressive eyes and open mouth, and you can still see the raised hand. However, this being its best angle kind of means that it has a worse angle, and this is where we start to get into the slight problems that this figure has. That's right, 20th Anniversary Edition Pikachu plush toy. You're not perfect. Meh. First, let's take a look at the shape of the head. It doesn't look too bad at first glance until you realize that its ears give it sharp, distinct corners that are not present on the actual character. Now, these wouldn't be so bad if they were symmetrical, which, as this dip on the right cheek shows, they are not. It was probably put there to make room for the little wavy greeting hand, but it still distorts the shape of the figure. But my biggest gripe with the shape of this figure would be this ear curve right up here. Because this, I think, is what kills a lot of the shape of the overall head for me. If you look over here, the ear is pointed upward in a very straight and natural Pikachu type shape, but over here, the ear has a little bit of a droop shape, giving it both a concave and a convex curve that are unnatural to the character, and kind of pulls the head in a weird shape. So yeah, I do have to dock a couple of points for that. Now the feel of this particular toy is also a bit of a mixed bag, with some good and some bad. First of all, it's very firm with lots of stuffing in it, making it hold its shape very nicely and that hand is not about to come down anytime soon. The ears don't really wiggle, which means that it's going to hold together for a very long time, which is always a plus in my book. As mentioned before, its fur is quite glossy and shiny, and is probably the figure's most unique feature. However, this is also one of its weak points, as the fur is made of a very granular and somewhat coarse material that's not really all that nice to the touch, especially if you rub against the grain. It's not a cheap material by any means, but anything that makes a plush toy, something that you're supposed to snuggle up with, less cuddly, does have to have a couple of points docked. Now here's a feature that's neither good nor bad in the long run. The tail is held aloft so that it can keep its nice pose with a single little stitch to the back of Pikachu's head. Now, whether you like to have your plush toys in a nice, reliable pose or to have it have some little bit of flexibility, well, that's up to you. Personally, I like the fact that this thing's not just up and flopping around all over the place. Overall, this isn't a bad figure. It's actually very nice, very shiny. But it's not really good for snuggling purposes, as far as other Pokémon plush toys that have been made. But it would make for a very nice display piece, so long as you keep its best side forward. 
Pikachu used high five. High five. High five. Owie, 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 owie. High five. High five. High five. High five. High five. What's up, Internet? Haven't got to do this in a while. This is a Patreon shout out to Steve Sharp, Jordan Mathis, and Megan Clark. Check out Steve Sharp's music at Sharp Rain Music at his YouTube channel because the stuff he makes is awesome. Check the link in the description to become a patron today. Later!